expense involving the community. Hi, welcome to Soccer River TV Community Announcements. Uh, my name is Chris, and this is Bridget. Hi, Bridget. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Why don't you hand me one of those newspapers, and we'll see what's going on here in the community. This one. Thank you very much. Wow, what do we got here? This is the American Journal. This is uh, news of uh, Buxton and other towns here. Buxton's one of the towns here in the Soccer River TV viewing area. And uh, there's a story in here about um, a ferret. Do you know what a ferret is? No. It's like a small animal. And apparently there's a rescue, a ferret rescue place in Buxton. The woman who runs it is named Crystal Kennedy, and she was able to save a ferret named Mocha. Did you know that? Mm. And it says here that this uh, ferret was in tough shape. A lot of people are having trouble taking care of their pets uh, with the economy and the weather and everything. And sometimes things happen. So this place takes in ferrets that uh, don't have anybody uh, to take care of them. So this ferret w came in pretty pretty bad shape, but the ferret's doing really um, doing a lot better now. Um, this woman takes in ferrets uh, for the ferret rescue of Maine in Buxton. And if you have trouble with pets, um, there's always options uh, to have someone else take care of them, especially with this weather, the cold weather. You want to keep your pets inside as well. So what else is going on, huh? Well, let's see. Let me see what I got here. All right, we have a local artist in Buxton, speaking of Bu Buxton. She's a friend of the stations here. Her name is Susan Orphant, and she is a local artist who's going to be displaying some uh, of her artwork in Westbrook. And that runs from, um, runs until February 15th, I believe. I want you to. You want me to read that one? Okay, I will. And basically, uh, she is an oil painter uh, who lives in Buxton and has been here down to the station to talk about her artwork, has had artwork uh, shown over at the West, West Buxton Library as well as other places. So I she's, got something. You got something for me? What you got? Hot off the presses? All right. Well, this is the Smart Shopper. Did I have anything in here? I think I did. This is a smart shopper. Now, the smart shopper is like a local paper, but it's like an advertisement type paper for local businesses. But it has a lot of um, oh, help on. Oh, I passed a kitty cat picture. Well, we're not going to talk about that. I think we're going to talk about something else in here. Oh, here it is. Uh, there's a Valentine's dance and silent auction to benefit the Bonnie Eagle ice hockey. Uh, that's Friday, February 15th at the Roost in Chicopee, on uh, Chicopee Road in Buxton there. And it's uh, adults only, 21 and over, $15 a couple, $8 for a single. Uh, limited seating, only 300 tickets. So uh, if you're interested, check out uh, www.bonnieeaglehockey.org for more information. Uh, over in Hollis, uh, we're in Hollis right now. Do you go to school in Hollis? Yeah. Where do you go? What's it called? Daycare. Beer Pond Daycare in Hollis. Want to say hi? Wave. Hi. Uh, Hollis Community Clothes Closet. Uh, the winter hours are Tuesday 9 to 11, Wednesday 2 to 4, Thursday 9 to 11. And uh, Bonnie Tootsie is the uh, person you want to contact about that. That's at 727-3479. What else is going on? Where's the other paper? All right. Uh, we have this uh, paper, the reporter from Waterboro here, and uh, I'm just looking in here, and there's an article about recycling, and recycling does save the taxpayers money. The recycling rate went from 20% in 2004 up to 50% starting in 2005. So the towns are, are uh, saving money at the uh, transfer stations when, when you do recycle, and uh, that ends up uh, helping you save your tax money and uh, on your uh, property taxes and the like. We also have some information here about something I think you might like. It's about a miniature horse 
Flicker is a miniature horse. Do you like horses? Yeah? Well, at my favorite place and Bridget's favorite place is the West Buxton Public Library, right? We love going to the library over there. And on February 9th, at Saturday, on Saturday, February 9th at 11, there's going to be a mini horse at the library. Can we see it? Yeah, we could see it. And so could they if they wanted to. For more information, uh, contact the Buxton, uh, West Buxton Public Library at www.westbuxtonpubliclibrary.org or check out the SRC TV uh, website for more information on any of these things if I'm not being very clear. What else we got here? Uh, spaghetti dinner on February 17th from 5 to 7.30, and that's at the Standish Town Hall. We know where that is, right? We know where that is. That's, that's where apparently it's happening. It's, uh, tickets are $6, and children 5 and up. Children 5 and up are free. I think that's children 5 and under are free. Yes, I'm getting the signal. I think it's but children. But if, if there's four and up, uh, that'd be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. I think it would be funny. Uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, Girl Scouts information meeting on January 30th. And that's about all the time we have for this wonderful edition of Community Announcements with Chris and... Bridget. <laughs> Thank you very much. Saco River Community Television. For more information, look us up on the web. Bye-bye.